Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with less hit points, less uh, class options, less equipment, niche builds and of course stronger enemies via a better advent and a better Chosen. You wouldn't have guessed what would have happened as I was just about to travel to the coordinates here. Damn right, we've finally been shut down. No XCOM uh, playthrough without a good old adventure defense mission. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Um, since I am pissed about us being shut down, we're going to air and ventilate our, our dissatisfaction of uh, that by putting our top team into it. Uh, Primos is going to join us. Or, um, I'm going to start with Sandman because I would want to have a scouting option uh, to make it a faster mission. We're going to build two of these and whilst we're at it, a bit more of that and a bit more of that. Okay, cool. So we're using the refraction field head work to pretty well the last time. We're going to bring Jessica Jones uh, here, we're going to bring Frodo here. Unfortunately, um, Quickfeed and Wards are currently unavailable. That is okay, we'll eventually get through it, but I would like to have an alternative Grenadier. Meltdown is just going to do fine. And I would like to have an alternative Ranger. Uh, I think Zirkim can be up for the job. So. A lot of heavy weapons. Meltdown. Let's give him an EMP bomb because there might be uh, electronic enemies that we want to stun with that. And yeah, that's really our crew. The rest should have enough uh, equipment available so as they are coming in. Uh, we're uh, going to have more and more soldiers. That's a classical defense mission, so we're being shut down and not uh, one where a Chosen is leading the shutdown. So we just need to destroy the beacon and that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, we luckily have manned the towers of our defense matrix. So I stand firmly ready for whatever is going to come up. That's the beacon we're trying to destroy. Okay, in order to get there, let's use Sandman as our scout. Moves up as far as possible. And whilst we're at it, would like to move it even further. So a blaster bomb, would the blaster bomb be able to reach that? No. Would a bombard be able to? Yes. Good, moving into cover. Same question as we're standing here, blaster bomb. Funnily enough, he's almost ready to reach it. I think it won't be enough to destroy it. So I'm being cautious here. I feel light on my feet. Jessica, how do we get a nice line of sight. Let's place her over here. Heading there now. Meltdown takes the other frontline okay. position and so far I'm trying to do my best to conservatively play this mission, i.e. how it is supposed to be played. 
But as we're going to move in further with the Reaper, um, we can eventually snipe that thing and blast it down. And that's exactly what we're going to do once that is happening. We're overwatching with everything. As the first pack is soon going to join us. Alright, we eventually triggered them. Stun Lancers are moving in. And as so often it feels, we could have also not overwatched. It would have been a very similar outcome. Okay, they are going to move in. Are we triggering? Yes, we are. Good, now the remaining Overwatches are going to come in. With just the same outcome, it seems. Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. Okay, so a lot, a lot of Overwatch is happening. This here should give us a line of sight onto our actual target. Just out of curiosity, we cannot hit the beacon from here. We at least see the beacon. Oh, I see what's uh, what the problem is. The beacon is nicely positioned just behind that full cover. We're going to change uh, that in uh, just a second. But there is more that needs to be taken care of right now. Well, let's start with an overdrive here. This here will shred, remove cover and solve our overwatch problem. Fantastic, good start. Secondly, sometimes you gotta use bombard. In order to clean, uh, to clean out uh, the uh, the uh, line of sight. Okay, and finally we do have very good. We do have uh, the shot that I was looking for. Quite a few targets available for us. Target rich environment. Yet again, this here should clean out uh, the right hand side. I think we're just going to kill and next turn uh, and we're going to also destroy the target and next turn I would I would like to uh, evacuate okay I need to find that right that right position 
can see everything. <clears throat> so 10 points of damage, 2, 4, 6, 8, yep, but it's a kill. Next up, heavy mech, we're going to deal with that in a second. Um, just out of curiosity, no, uh, the rocket launcher would not um, fly far enough. Let's start with the heavy mech and softening it up. Five points of damage. That's not enough to fully get it into leather range. Our towers should have a bit of a higher hit chance. I'm wondering why that is so low. Potentially the distance. good so far okay well all right there we go that was what I was looking for good we're continuing our cleanup hitting the heavy mag next Time for the Sentinels. Moving up. And saturation fire is not lasting far enough. Okay, we're just going to wait there for now. Blast the bomb. We do have salvo, so we do have a second shot afterwards. Blast bomb, just a fantastic item overall. Good. Very good. Time to kill the next sentinel. Target neutralized. Let's do this. Free reload. Killing that thing, which now allows us to move away. Excellent work, Menace One Five. Shen, I think that's not officially a kill, so we're not go getting a serial, um, a serial restock. Oh, it is cool. Even better. Good, moving up. Andromedon dies. That's maybe even some extra loot. Elite Lancer dies. Yet another reload. on sentinel dies <laughs> fantastic okay time to prep the shell there we go that's one 
that's two. And let's use some cereal to get that guy down as well. Kill confirmed. Okay, we got quite a bit of mileage out of uh, the cereal. I go where you tell me. Overwatch and next turn we're just going to leave. Overwatch. I think we've demonstrated that uh, we mean business. We've essentially killed two packs and the target and are almost able to uh, get out of here. Well, that's lightning reflexes. Get it together. Can't really do anything about that. Okay. I think I can't get the loot and get out of here, which is unfortunate, but I'm going to do a clean mission. I want the least possible exhaustion, and I honestly also uh, feel like uh, doing it that cleanly teaches the aliens a lesson. Would have almost done it in one turn. If they would have allowed me to bomb the target location but yeah your placement uh, of the target saved you and that was the only thing that saved you all right lift off the avenger and well, that's guys how you're doing a 15 minute uh, avenger defense without really getting into trouble reaper op Dark Lance and a good sniper, OP. Yep, pretty much everything, OP. Like a few dead aliens. We got more That's damn aliens. true. Nothing moves morale like a few dead aliens. Commander, if you come across anyone with an aptitude for the sciences, send them my way. I could use the help. Okay. Ten days tired on the Reaper, and I really wanted to take the Reaper. Onto that next mission. Not sure why exactly that is. The Reaper was just moving in and out. I think 10 days is incredibly excessive. But here we go. Off to another 10 days of scanning. At least we're no longer being haunted by a UFO. So that's something, I suppose. Might as well get the loot now. Good. Beginning of next month, the Reaper is available. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their... Spear Outloader is great. Advent Datapad is good as well. I like it. If we were to go in here, would that allow us maybe get that Archon King again? Just wondering... An extra alien facility mission, because we're only 20 minutes in. Mm. It's not really clever to do that, and I don't want to drag out the campaign too much, so instead we're just going to scan. Nine more days until the month ends. And we're going to also research a few more items. Nothing wrong with that either. Our 
Cool. Dodge plus eight. That's exactly what we needed. And we got a Colonel Templar, whom we never going to be able to use. Because the class is banned. Aim plus four looks good. I think we're going to do that. Do we really need that? I think no. Yeah, we got a bit of, we got a bit of um, health plus one, and maybe we're going to also go into health plus one and deeper learning. That's not bad. But the aim plus four isn't bad either, and is even faster. So, who needs aim? Yes, Res Jessica Rabbit would need it, but I think we're also giving it towards. Putting a scientist there only six days. She has the worst aim progression and oh, just helping her uh, will make her death from above even better. Good. We got the psionic gate done. Can't do the avatar at the moment. Our research is progressing so we're expected. falling back to conventional research. Let's do the data pad. And I think the one soldier that we've just gotten, another colonel, is ready. Wow. There's only one way of improving that soldier, which is Bladestorm. Holy shit, did that, did that soldier roll well on their... Uh, on their extra abilities like six out of six is rare wow okay that's not bad let me since the class is anyway is banned we're not going to use it in the case of this psionic gateway i'm gonna have to go ahead and disagree with the decision to recover it from the field but uh, this is essentially how the skilling would potentially look Lots of focus generation, amplify is fantastic. Uh, no question, fortress is great. Sustain, again, fantastic ability. And since we only have eight left over, you couldn't take anything else, but the rest is fine. With more points, uh, the Templar would again become a beast, but we have seen that uh, so often in the other runs, there is no point in Commander replicating it here. To make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow Three more days. To move fast. And look at that, we even got another mission out of it. I might play that um, eventually here. So protect the device, not going to happen. Retaliation counter doesn't matter, so it basically boils down to Viper rounds. Mamba, Heavy Mech, Archon, Sected Soldier, Codex Prime. That's a chance for the Archon, uh, for the Archon uh, leader to show up. And we're only one day off of um, using our Reaper again, so very soon he is going to come back as well. Let me just get the right team together. So yeah, two more days for the Reaper. I'll just build the team real quick. Good, perfect. This looks like a decent team. So we got uh, Plasma Blaster. I think we also wanted... Wait, wait, wait. We also wanted Hellfire Projector. Uh... Hmm. Does uh, this mech already have cover removal? Oh, sorry. I think we do have cover removal. Yeah, we got bombard. Okay. You know what? Screw it. We're going with a hellfire projector. Let these aliens burn. And that's the team that we're going to go in. Um, help our projector, a couple of grenades. That's a lot of fire damage, by the way. 
overdrive serum, some healing, and some incendiary grenades. I'll call that the um, the fiery angels. That is what that team would be called. As almost everybody <clears throat> has some uh, way of setting uh, the enemies up in flames. Okay, let's jump into the mission. All right, we landed. Now let's take a good look. So the team seems to be fully here. Wait a second. Uh, that is an elite demolisher. Uh, cool. Uh, rocket launcher, Allen grenade. Not going to say no to that. Nine rounds. We got one target to destroy and uh, potentially a handful of aliens that are trying to prevent that from happening. Uh, Endors is going to be the first scout. Uh, see, we already are seeing some of the enemies. Well, let's position ourselves over here. That will give us aiming angles. The demo list. Where do we put you? Gotta be careful not to trigger anything. Moving over here, and wrong planet is eventually moving to here. All of the positions are out of uh, reach from them. Unfortunately, we don't have Overwatch either. So next turn, I will start to pull right away, and we're eventually going to kill the first pack. Unless, of course, it is running away. Unless, of course, it is running away. On approach. I can handle that. We're moving up. Roger that. Scouts are continuing to scout. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. Would like to have a high ground position here. That's not too bad. It's going to give us it's going to give us some cover. Funnily enough, this here would trigger. So instead, let's position ourselves over here. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Demo is moving up. And we have a really nice overwatch. So they should trigger now and... Oh yeah, fantastic. When am I going to learn that our overwatch is pointless? Oh, look at that. One overwatch shot has hit and it was dodged. Second one was dodged as well, by the way. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm just kidding, of course. That's normal behavior sometimes. Things are being dodged. That's, it just happens. Defensive smoke. Minus 20%. Okay, well, that's bad. Do we have a stock in here? Yes, we do. So that's 100% kill. Death from above will let us move forward, uh, if we had it, of course, that is. On target. 
We're beginning to move forward. Seven more turns. Gotta kill the Pex now. Right, Meg. Meg gets shredded nicely. Absolutely. Moving up. And Comet protocoling this uh, thing down. Twelve points of damage is nothing to scoff at. Moving on target location. We're moving up further. Disappointing loot, unfortunately. And we're moving up over here. Wrong planet moves up, and we're also moving up here. We're doing okay on the advancement part. There's potentially something from the right going to join us soon. The name of the game now will be to keep our forces uh, reasonably together. Okay, well. Affirmativo, mi muovo. How about. How about. We're positioning down here first. Full cover is always good. And uh, this here gives us a clear shot for the target, removing any form of time pressure that we do have. And you know what? That's even worth the teamwork for me. Because two rounds of dealing with that and we're going to completely melt that. Moving over. Secunda stands over here. Wrong planet stands over there. We're moving up and we're going to have a nice further overwatch trap. Reload overwatch. If you couldn't get in far enough, just like we did, this here is so satisfying to see. Once it is destroyed, they are going to come our way. Okay, I did not expect them to come our way that hard. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Well, hmm. let's take that high ground. Ads is going to stand over here. Oh, that should still be in range for an overwatch. Secundus is moving back. And Wrong Planet just takes the high ground here without overwatch. Double movement so that we do have someone who can go in next turn overwatch 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 okay well look at that the skirmisher directly got shed on. And don't make any mistake, the other packs are now going to come to our position as well. 
There we go. They are being alarmed. Time to get an easy school mine kill out of it. Come on. There we go. That's some bonus intel. Unfortunately, we're going to take some damage. Hats hacking set was not great enough yet. No, that's okay. That it's really not that much of a problem. Moving up. Can we remove the cover? I think we mostly can. As you should shred, remove the cover. Oh yeah, that's a fantastic cover removal. Holy shit. That's oh, an effective cover removal. Moving over here. Free reload. And that could be a kill. That is a kill. 24 points of damage. We're keeping, uh, by the way, our concealment over here. Good. Secundus overwatches. I can tell you, wrong planet also wants to overwatch. I get a bit closer though because we do have the grenades and their range is limited. Okay, now it's just a matter of time until those guys are hopefully going to come in. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, maybe I was being a bit too optimistic. Come on, get back Healing to ourselves life. immediately because elsewise additional damage will follow. Sure thing. Move up. Oh, that is bad. Position. Good, we only had one auto loader, so might as well fully reload. I want to trigger those guys. So we're moving over here. like the forward position at the same time I hate it because we might be trapped here so how about we're just dropping down it's the last round where we could simply drop down To have that high ground that way we get an aim bonus and reloading. we're reloading just for good measure reload overwatch another overwatch and the demo guy goes and takes the front Okay, well, I suppose the time for hiding is over. Oh boy, this is going to be hard for.
Got to deal with a sector, uh, sector pod, not sector. And we're going to stay nicely in the front here. 100% crit chance almost. Oh wow. He survived that. Holy moly. Good. Taking away some of the cover. Killing this guy. Okay. here it's only half cover four to five it's not badly enough five to six plus burning two four six plus burning not a hundred percent kill into a spot where we can also hit that sector pod. Oh boy, that's, that's not going to be fun. This here would shred and potentially severely injure Stun Lancer. The other option is just trying to snipe it, which I think we're going to do. Can't do anything else with the sniper, anyways. Okay. That worked out well. In terms of EMP bomb. Let us move into full cover away from uh, that area and this is hopefully going to stun both of them. Well damage yes, stun no. Are so unbelievably screwed with that big thing. Fifty fifty to shut it down. Come on. <laughs> oh. Suppression. Suppression on the sector pod prime just to make it less likely that he's going to hit anything. Can't kill it this turn. Let's get that heavy mech down. 
can't fully kill it either, unless we're overdriving. I hate to do it. Eighty-seven percent, not good enough. I needed that. Okay, so the Sekopod Prime, it's the first time that we're battling it without the support, without the support of it being stunned. Ouch. Luckily we had Sustenance Sphere. It quite literally saved our life. There is another... Uh, there is another wonderful prime. Fighting two primes at the same time. One could say it's prime time. <laughs> uh, jokes aside. How do we deal with them? Our sustenance sphere just wore off. Okay, we're running out of uh, spots to hide. Can't hide there. Can't hide there. We're literally flanked from every angle. Can only hope we're getting that sector pot down, and then next turn we're going to. Uh, and, and we're using the other, the rest of the movement in order to do something meaningful. What are our options? Tell you they are not good. No real good chain shot. Trying to sacrifice the demolitioner here by leaving it out in the open. Jarangs. Takes a move to here. Yeah, I went eventually will need to also mark it in a second or shred it. A protocol for wrong planet. Can't really get everybody into safety. We're starting with some solid shredding. Trajectory Do we have additional shredding? No, we don't, but we need it in order to get that thing down. Which means, although this here is not the best play, well, I mean, if it's just shredding, uh, this here is one damage more. And it is shredding just as much as the other grenade. Two points of shredding. Sometimes every single bit of damage counts. Okay, our Mimic Beacon essentially just gave up. We need to hit this one. Not sure if that was a hit. No, it was not. Hmm. 
concealing for more crit chance. Oh, he's out of ammunition. Fantastic. That can happen. That's the best case scenario. Which can happen. these guys are going to likely kill us question is are we going to do something meaningful with enders here it might be the end of enders but at least oh hair trigger free action are you kidding me enders oh, okay well now This here would be completely out of line of sight. I think that we moved in, so these here have tactical analysis. They can't reach us, and Enders might just get away with a sliver of health. Fortune smiles upon him. Fortune favors the brave and Enders has done something incredibly brave. Much to my disliking, they are efficient with just placing bombs everywhere. Free reload. Free reload. All right. Let's move all the way up to here. Take that nice little overwatch shot. Dodge it like a boss. And seventy-five percent to just kill it outright means 25% of not killing it but then blade storm means <laughs> you're screwed okay I'm having way too much fun now that Endorus lives uh, but that might not be a per uh, permanent thing is it the rise and fall of Endorus will he have a chance to come back we don't know yet. Wrong planet. We gotta deal with that guy. Problem is, there's another one right here. And there are more over here, so we gotta be careful. This here is great for flanking good for protection from this angle but we would not be protected from the back then again we do have quite a few hit points so we can take that one shot and this here is a chance to kill it outright and that was worth it we gotta clean the battlefield the problem that we're facing is just too much um, too much momentum that we're losing Rescue of Enders continues. Absolutely. Open up. Could be 
nice uh, option to hit that Codex Prime there. Can't get there to punch its ugly face. Which I deeply, deeply regret. It's not susceptible to incineration as well, so that Hellfire Projector here just doesn't do that much. Reloading, and that's the momentum that we're losing, which I mentioned earlier. Come on, come on, yep, oh, so good. Uh, they're shooting to kill, so we're actually going to move completely out of line of sight. Elite Purifier. No, 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 no. Let's Overwatch. Not a bad uh, strategy. Those psionic bombs really hurt our ability to position. He might throw a grenade. I don't like. I don't like that. That was a double move, right? Yeah, that was. A, yeah, that was a double move. Fantastic. Another psionic bomb. Yeah, of course. Well, luckily, guess what? Luckily, I've prepared for that stupidity. Now this here would be still in the psionic bomb. That's potentially the best space that we could get. And when I, what I mean with I've prepared for that is we're going to take away its cover and we're going to punish it severely. Good. Half cover is much better than. Than the full cover it had beforehand. Elite officer. I'm on the move. Okay, we're moving up. Let's try to get that purifier. Indoors. Gotta be careful here. Yeah, we got the Iron Fist of the Emperor waiting for uh, for this guy. Now, do we have... No, we don't have free reload. Oh, that's unfortunate. Not a problem. Which means we're falling back. The lead officer takes shot, is burning. Oh, that was an excellent hit. I don't want to risk it with Enders. I'm not sure if that was the last pack. I am really not sure. So instead, let's just hit that Codex Prime normally. to give that aid protocol to Secundos that counters uh, the mark and we're good to go Enders just overwatches very good You just gotta hate those bombs. Oh my gosh. 
begs the question, are they ever going to stop? I can tell you that much. Shotgun to the face, it's never going to stop. There you go, 15 points of damage, fantastic. Spark is no longer marked, great. Reloading. Can we see it? No, we can't. <laughs> Such a prankster. Alright, reloading. And now is the perfect time for that big fat slap. Can't really reach it, so a bit of an extra shot here. I think it just killed itself by trying to take a new position. There you go. Finally, the Fist of the Emperor. playing uh, Warhammer I would give you a quote about Xeno scum and how we've eradicated it but yeah it's XCOM yeah and I was right it is not the last pack there is more to come do we have it in us I don't know Enders still sticks around. Maybe I'm going to regret it, maybe not. Secundus moves up, wrong planet. Moves up, we're going to reform. Going to be stronger and faster and more deadly than before. There's even a chest over there. What Enders is essentially falling back Scanning. and waiting. If my memory serves me well, I've seen an Archon and something something as the last pack. We don't have any more scouting abilities. No, no it's completely gone. Perfect timing. Take a look. And there they are. Scoured into the little directions. Good, moving over to here. This should give us a free line of sight. And Sector Soldier dies. Fantastic. No sniping position. That other soldier is just standing up there. Whatever you say. Moving in. Wrong planet. Let's mark the Archon. Just going to move up here. I think that's fair. Overdrive. Not sure if we can kill the Archon with two over overwatch shots. What I meant to say, two follow up shots, but the answer is yes. And before we're going into a large Overwatch Fiesta, let's just move in. Ender still stays far, far back. Hostiles targeting my position. 
Okay. Good. Well, I mean, I have no problem with doing a little shootout with that sector soldier there. He seems to think that that full cover is going to save him. But we got stocks, we got holder targeting. It's not going to save him at all. Secundus takes an aid protocol. Hats himself is standing in full cover. This might kill other thing. Okay. Oh, wow. Harder mission than I would have expected. And the greatest uh, victory of that particular mission was that Anders lives. The Great Escape of Anders is what this mission is going to be titled from now on. What a fun mission overall. Really appreciate him sticking around and eventually getting that super super clutch um, hair trigger then moving over I think you couldn't have scripted it better more scientists and there is some loot are we ready for the black side facility well it's not the black side facility the coordinates of the black side vial i think we are so that'll be our next mission it's happening back to back now but it is going to happen in in the next episode so we're going to bring the c team it was just the bottom of the barrel team that we were bringing like Bravo and Hunk are going to join us. Oh, two more days. Sentman is tired for two more days. Okay, my bad. Avenger plotting new course. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Okay, fantastic. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Still tired, okay. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we Boy, we're getting even more intel. Intel is becoming a full full on commodity now. I think we wanted to get ex extra uh, learning, but why would we? We're almost uh, through. It's a nice uh, resistance order but by no means necessary let's just look for the shortest for the shortest one that allows us something meaningful mobility plus one isn't bad yeah it's it's really okay um who needs to be more mobile i think we will get that and we're down to five days so that's a that's a good one we're, we're currently farming kind of the secondary uh, traits and i think now we're ready okay the tired is finally gone hate to always wait that long i think that's now the third attempt to actually start doing this mission here <laughs> Hilarious if you think about it. Okay, like I said, we're taking we're taking Mike the Public Bravo. Those who haven't fully managed to get to Colonel yet, like Toxic and Zirkim and Sandman and eventually this team here might also encounter the um, the Archon King again
we got everything that we need i think we're fine highly dissatisfied with the flamer so far so i might change that again for the plasma blaster smaller radius but uh, almost surgical in its beam so not bad as well oh, although let me not uh, be that disrespectful we're giving the hellfire pro uh, projector one more turn and this is really how the team is going to look like for the next time for now we're at the end of today's episode thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoy the content i would appreciate a comment and a like down below that helps the channel and uh, we're almost uh, there let's just get those last missions right and uh, finish the hopeful choose to lose campaign see you on the next episode two days from now bye bye